Hi everyone, welcome to practice problem con 03. This one is all about revenue and expense recognition. Let's check it out. Here I present you with three scenarios and you have one task to complete. Determine when revenues or expenses should be recognized specifically under accrual accounting in each of the following scenarios. Take a moment, pause the video, see if you can determine when the revenue or expenses should be recognized Come back when you're ready, and I'll walk you through the solution. All right, welcome back. So we're going to go in order here. A, Blue Devil Cruises sells $200,000 worth of cruise tickets to its passengers in September. So that's one option. For a cruise that sails the following January. There's our second option. When do we, in this case, recognize the revenue from selling the cruise tickets? Well, remember, revenues are recorded under accrual accounting when they are earned, regardless of when cash changes hands. In September, the cruise line has sold the tickets to the passengers. In other words, it has collected the cash and given the passengers the tickets. However, the cruise line has not actually earned that money until it actually takes the passengers on the cruise Therefore, January is when we will recognize revenue in this scenario. All right, let's try B. Tiger Corps receives $50,000 worth of services from a vendor in Q1. So there's our first option, Q1. The vendor sends an invoice for the services near the end of Q1, and Tiger Corps makes a payment in Q2. So in this case, Tiger Corps receiving services... And so it's incurring the cost of those services. So we're talking about expenses. And specifically, the vendor is performing the services in Q1. Tiger Court is paying in Q2. When do you record the expense? Well, just like revenue rec, expense recognition says you recognize expenses when the cost is incurred, regardless of when you pay for it. You might pay for it now. You might pay for it later, regardless when the cost is incurred. That's when the expense happens. The vendor performed the services in Q1. Therefore, the expense is recognized in Q1, even though the payment doesn't take place till Q2. All right, let's check out C. Flyer Inc. uses $350,000 worth of materials to complete construction on a building for a customer at the end of year one. So there's one of our options. The customer pays its $600,000 bill for the construction project at the beginning of year two. So there's our second option. And notice here, we have two different amounts. We have the $350,000 worth of materials used. Materials used is the using up of an asset, a resource. And so that's a cost incurred. So for the materials used, we're dealing with expense recognition. However, customers are paying a $600,000 bill. $600,000 charge to the customer, that's your revenue from this job. And so for the $600,000, we're dealing with revenue recognition. So we've got both going on in here, and we have two options, year one, year two, for each of them. Let's talk about the expenses first. You used up the materials during year one. When you use up your resources, use up your assets, that's when the cost was incurred. Notice the problem says nothing about when you bought these materials or when you paid for these materials because it's irrelevant. You used them in year one. Therefore, for expense recognition, year one is when the cost was incurred. All right, now let's talk about the revenue. The customer pays its $600,000 bill for the construction project at the beginning of year two. All right, so you're getting paid in year two, but when did you actually build the thing that the customer is paying you for? And notice it says that Flyer Inc. completed construction in year one. No matter when the customer pays you, once you have done the job, in this, place, in, in this case, completing the construction, you have earned the revenue. And therefore, both the revenue and the expense get recognized in year one in this scenario. 
All right, that's it for this one. Hope you found it helpful. Please join me for another.